You must be strong. Stand up on your own. Take control of your life. I've seen it time and time again. You don't work that. Yeah. Don't be down and miserable. You and only you can turn yourself around. Giving it up. Give it up. Turn it loose. Out. If you don't want ya, you don't need them. Girl, yeah. Give it up. Turn it loose. Out. Yeah, okay, give it up, turn it loose by In Vogue, okay? One of the um best girl groups of all time. Uh <laughs> especially in the well, they formed in the nineties or their heyday was in the nineties, I'll say. But um Give It Up, Turn It Loose. That's the song. So uh whatever is not serving you or whoever's not serving you anymore. If it has no purpose in your life, I don't care if it's this old job, this old relationship, your old um, ways of thinking, whatever it is, it's not serving anymore. Or if it's not giving to you in any type of way, then it might be time to turn it loose. Hell. And if someone turned you loose and set you free, spread your wings and fly. Okay, like the song says, if he don't want you, we don't need him. All right, so whatever that is to you. Anyway, um, go ahead and get us to that song. The uh, link is down below in the description box. So anyway, I hope you all are doing well, staying safe, taking care of yourselves, and just enjoying uh, yourselves, enjoying my videos and my channelings and my reads. I'm having a good time uh, channeling these songs and bringing them to you. And I'm enjoying your company. Okay, you can see I have my um, one of my favorite all-time singers, uh, Whitney Houston, on my shirt tonight. So we're going to be the voice uh, for you all. So um, if you, well, you already know. If you don't like what I have to say, what comes out of my mouth, the voice that I'm using to speak to give these messages, if some things do not, do not make sense to you, then leave those messages on the floor. Leave them at the door for someone else. They will come along, pick them up, I promise and guarantee you. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is down below. Follow me on TikTok, Quentin Wilson 944 Let's go ahead and get into this reading. So we have Community Card. And soulmates, okay. You know, this light is really bright tonight. Maybe because of the positioning of it. I don't know shit, but anyway. Um, go the distance. Yes, that's what I was saying in the first reading, the make it happen, and that's the card that I was visualizing, even though I didn't even use these cards. But now, um, you know, still keeping the theme of it, keep the faith and keep going. So if there's one thing that's come to an end or someone doesn't want you anymore or you don't want them anymore, then life goes on, okay? Life goes on between worlds. All right. But peace. <laughs> okay, so we are in an energy of finding peace. So I feel as if whatever this situation is, there will be peace coming. Peace be still. Okay. So what I'm picking up with this is um, you all out there could be doing a lot for your community or maybe just uh, working together with groups or working with people in a way or you're just uh, doing things that are going to um, enrich your lives. Because when we have this soulmate card coming out, soulmates appear in our lives in many different forms. As I've always said, uh, they don't always have to be in the romantic sector. They can be in any uh, sector of our lives right there. But soulmates always appear appear in our lives to teach us some type of lesson as we are appearing in their lives to teach them some lessons as well too whatever these things are sometimes soulmates appear in our lives and the lessons can be a bit painful but here's the thing throughout all of the um the pain or after after the pain we sit and we talk a while 
welcome you. You're a glad side to see. Okay, that's Betty Wright right there. All right, I wasn't expecting to break on to another song. Not this early in the video, by the way. But um, when I said after the pain, then I thought of that song. Betty Wright, after the pain. Okay, so <laughs> I'll put that in the description box too. In case you all want to check it out. But Betty Wright, God bless it, rest her soul. Um, but after the pain, as I said, peace. Well, I did say uh, peace is now coming to this situation. So there could possibly be some resolution that might be coming. And hey, with soulmates right here, because now with these penguins, someone has the key to someone's heart right there. So maybe they're unlocking some things. But with this go the distance, as I said, um, this this pretty much is saying no matter what, whether you receive this closure, if that's what someone needs, or whether you receive this um, offer of some sort, if that's what's on the table, then this is pretty much just saying go the distance for yourself. Because with this in between worlds, you could this could be your energy that I'm picking up on right here. Um, you know, where you are stepping out of this gray area and you're stepping out into color and living your life in living color. Or this could be someone who's attached to you. And now they are, um, you know, in between uh, sectors or in between some things right here. Some people could be in between jobs. I don't know. Or maybe just in between or just undecided about what they fully want to do. But I do feel as if um, we are stepping into this place of um, fully being ourselves, um, living out loud right here. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. But, um, you know, as I said, if there are some things that are, uh, and this could very well, this between worlds, you know, someone who just has a very um, limited viewpoint or limited perspective right there. Now, uh, stepping out into the world and seeing uh, authenticity, seeing genuine people, um, actually getting with people and um, establishing more genuine relationships as well too, this could be broadening someone's um, world. You know, it's broadening their uh, perception and their perspective as well too. Because that all goes together. Whatever someone is seeing, that is what they are going to begin believing. So, someone could be, um, you know, they're, they're, they're now seeing themselves in a different world, uh, so to speak. Yes, okay, Knight of Swords, they are on the way, honey. Knight of Swords, we start off with that energy, so it's, again, going the distance. They're running towards something. They are running... Uh, towards that next adventure or whatever it is. They're going towards that next challenge <laughs> right here. Or they are conquering this challenge. This could be a challenging situation for them. You know, as well too, as I said, with um, turning something loose or giving something up. So someone may be um, giving something up or they've had to give something up, but in giving this up, guess what? You gain so much more. Are you going to be getting so much more? Yes. <laughs> Six of Wands, recognition and attention. Look at the way that uh, she's standing up there, honey. The spotlight is on her. So someone is running towards their victory. Someone is running towards their success. This is a very successful outcome that someone is about to get to. And this could very well be in regards to a job, money, relationships, um, traveling even for some of you, whatever this is. But now someone is, um, they've hit the ground running. Someone has now hit the ground running and they are now running towards whatever this success is. And I feel that people are going to be admiring them. People have been looking at them. People have been paying attention to them and just looking and observing what it is that they've been doing and what it is that they've been working on. So Ace of Pentacles comes out in the reverse. All right, coming out in the reverse right here, you know, someone may have, um, all right, nine of pentacles, that dropped out, comes out in the reverse too. So I'll say this, 
This person now, whoever this is, someone wasn't seeing someone's self-worth or some, well, someone didn't see their own self-worth or their own value um, here. And maybe they weren't, someone wasn't really appreciating themselves. That's what was going on. So now, as I said, someone is now running towards that or someone could have could have been doing this to the other person. We do get soulmates up here. So maybe if there was one person who wasn't seeing the um, value in someone or maybe seeing the value in some type of relationship, as I said, give it up, turn it loose. So if this is you who was not seeing um, the potential or seeing something going the distance um, and you felt that you had to give it up because you were suffering or something was you weren't acquiring whatever it was that you were um, hoping for um, or wanting to gain from this then yes give it up turn it loose because there is no use in just keeping something going if it's not helping us or benefiting us or not working with us in some way whatever this is excuse me, uh, to you. This could have been someone who I um, said before. Maybe in the past, they did not, um, they didn't appreciate your value in some way or they didn't value what it was that you were doing or what you were bringing to the table. So um, maybe they turned you a loose. I don't know. You know, you put that energy where it goes. But with this Knight of Swords, this is someone now going this is pretty much going the distance, you know, right there. So, yep. Leave it behind. <laughs> Whatever it is, leave it behind. If this is um, a manner of thinking, a manner of how someone has been feeling or viewing themselves, it's time to leave all of that behind. If this is a... Um, Codependent just went through my head. So if that devil card comes out, then you already know what time it is. But um, go codependent relationships, leaving those behind. Um, whatever is not serving, just leaving it behind. The wheel card. This is destiny. This is fate. This is divine timing at play right here. So the wheel um, in the upright, that represents just some positive things that may be coming our way. So if there have been some losses that have been suffered before in the past, because the Ace of Pentacles, that is something that is a brand new beginning with something or a renewal or a restart, but it's um, very valuable. So whatever um, has been lost, I feel as if that will be reclaimed right now and we're on track to um acquiring that whatever that is queen of swords someone is now learning how to speak up for themselves and really um as i said the queen of swords doesn't play out of all of the queens in this deck the queen of swords is the one who um he or she well she uh, right here talking about the woman she doesn't come from a place of emotion. She comes from a place of intellect and thinking. Very analytical um, energy right here. So um, this is one who is all about, they, they make these head over heart decisions right there, as I said, rather than versus the queen of cups who is more into the emotions right there. So whoever this person is, they are now um, in an energy of just being very um, quick witted with their words, with their thoughts, with even just their comebacks and things that they have with people and what they say. I feel that they had to grow into this Queen of Swords energy, especially if they were in this place of lack for their own value and self-worth. Now that they've left that behind, they have now um, acquired this new skill of gaining another kind of wittiness about them. Someone here is very witty, you know, with something. I just noticed that. <laughs> okay, I promise y'all I didn't make this up. I just noticed what this was. This is the this is the cup right there that look where it is. It's all the way at the bottom and it's in the cage. The I told y'all the Queen of Swords, she's locked up that cup. She's locked up that heart. She says, I still have this heart. When it's when it's here and I need to bring it out, then I know where to find it. But 
that's not what you're getting from me up front. Right right now, you may get um you know, a bit you <laughs> you're gonna hear what I have to say, you know, and I'm gonna come from a place of um I'm just gonna come from a place of very being very matter of fact. This is what that energy is. Coming from a place of being very matter of fact rather than um being emotionally man manipulated because with the queen of swords that is someone who you know maybe they have been uh, played before in a relationship or something so now they're still open to things and open to people but they're not leading with the emotion is what i'm saying they're going to um, speak first they're going to get to know someone first they want to see where your head is at so Someone could be doing, um, being on stage and doing some speaking as well, too, with this Queen of Swords coming out on this Six of Wands right here. You know, with the Six of Wands, this is someone who's on stage and getting some kind of attention. Um, so this is someone I feel who is getting attention by their words, by their strength, by the words, by the way in which their words stir um, the emotions and of people. I'm not here bragging, but thank you, Spirit, because this came out, well, it didn't come out, but this happened in the reading before um, this one, the rumors reading. I mentioned um, a card or two, and then boom, here they come popping out. I said codependent relationships, and I said this devil card, and now, boom, speak of the devil, and he appears, or she appears, because the devil... Um, is energy and the devil uses uh, people in the flesh to carry out whatever little deeds that they need done. Now, the devil is not always a bad, negative, horrible energy, okay? The devil can be one that motivates us to want to move ourselves out of fear-based mentalities right here, who motivates us to want to... Um, move into more healthier relationships rather than feeling trapped in uh, codependent relationships, toxic relationships. So I feel with this devil card coming out, it is representing, as I said, someone is now um, moving out of codependent relationships and even just uh, their own lack of thinking. So <clears throat> this could have been... Um, you know, someone, <laughs> well, ooh, okay, well, here we go with the Empress energy right there. So someone is, um, is this temptation again? Okay, looks like it's maybe temptation with this devil as well, too, on the card. Because with this empress, this is someone who has something to give to the world. It's like new ideas, it's new creations, it's fertility, it's abundance, you know, just everything growing, you know, right there. So this could be saying that um, whoever this devil energy is maybe wanting to take money or take uh, ideas or take something from someone. Um you know, or maybe keep them in this place of illusions right here. But also, what what else did I want to say with this Queen of Swords? This Queen of Swords could also be in this um, devil energy. And when I say that, again, it's like a motivator. It's motivating themselves. Or this is someone who... Hmm... Okay. Someone who wanted some kind of fame too. Because I'm picking that up. When I look at this six of wands, as I said, someone is here gaining attention or wanting some kind of attention or recognition. Someone could have wanted some recognition. Okay. Someone could have wanted some kind of recognition or fame or public recognition in some way 
And maybe they were trying to take. Maybe they were trying to take from someone. Or take their ideas or take something from them. Hmm. This might, I don't know if this is continuing from that last reading because that last one was a doozy, um, honey. That last one was a doozy with the rumors and everything coming out and a certain energy was manipulating and playing against someone right here. So this could be saying that um, this is still attached to that or it could be something different. But if it's talking about, well, if this is someone who wanted some kind of fame or recognition um, right there, maybe uh, they pay the price or they have to pay the price or they paid the price or something for it. Could be. Let's see. Maybe they paid the price with their um, their child i don't know if it's like their like their soul or their mind because with the temperance card coming out it comes out in the reverse and that's a mental imbalance so i don't know if this could be saying that someone was trying to take something from someone take some ideas or take some kind of um, new creation or something from someone, but there was a price to pay um, for that. And maybe this person wasn't able to pay that price or maybe they weren't able to deliver in some way, whatever this was. So it was taken from them. That's interesting, okay? But the Seven of Swords comes out in the reverse. Hmm. This is, like, I always say it's like returning to the scene of a crime. After we've done something or after we have deceived someone. Because the Seven of Swords can be um, manipulation. It can be envy. It can be stealing. But I did say someone was trying to steal something. It was like someone was trying to steal someone's attention or take the attention off of someone in some way. But someone, as I said, they have gone the distance. They have ran the race. I feel as if this is pretty much, pretty much what this person was hoping to get or what they were trying to steal from someone else. Like, okay, so they had to pay the piper right there. This is someone having to pay the piper now and it's thrown them off and it's made their, it's either put them in some kind of mental imbalance or it has thrown off something within their, their world or something, but now they want to come back and apologize for or they want to right their wrong in some way with the seven of swords eight of one i mean eight of uh swords well i did say eight of wands communication and movement so somebody somebody probably does want to communicate or say something but then we have the eight of swords um, this is like a release, like being released from something because it's interesting that we have the devil card that comes out right here, which talks about being bound or being stuck to something, which can be anything. It can be relationships. It can be, um, our ways of thinking. It can be fears, but someone I feel they, hell, maybe someone was in jail or maybe stuck or hell now that the devil is right here maybe they have they created some kind of hell on earth for themselves where now they just feel bound to it but they want to unbind themselves judgment card 
that came out in the last reading. So this very well could be picking up from that other reading, from the rumors reading right here. So go back and check out that video if you haven't. But as I said, someone's actions caused them to <clears throat> reap some type of karma right here. And now we have the judgment card that comes out again. So this is, you know, judgment and the um, wheel of fortune. That is karma, you know, that's happening at that play. Because now somebody's having some kind of awakening with something. It's, now I'm getting the word like enhancement as well too. So an enhancement... Enhancement, enhancement. Hmm. Something's being enhanced, you know, here, but two of pentacles. All right. Choices, decisions, um, kind of like juggling sometimes as well, too. So <clears throat> but it's like some kind of decision or some kind of movement here that is um on the table that's gonna be um, done or some kind of choice here that's going to be made so what else king of pentacles comes out in the reverse so somebody maybe alright maybe who somebody here was being irresponsible with something this is very interesting because now I'm picking up somebody, someone is going to have the choice of whatever judgment that someone receives. Someone is going to have the choice of whatever judgment that someone receives here. Because with this judgment card coming out, this is um, the epiphany, <laughs> uh, the awakening. You know, right here, someone is being called to the carpet. Right here. Someone is being called to the carpet. Wait a minute. Okay. Someone now, if this King of Swords comes out, shit. <laughs> we already have the Knight of Swords and now we have the Queen of Swords. Because now I'm getting the energy of someone, especially if this is some kind of um situation where someone was imprisoned or doing something because with this eight of swords it can represent a physical prison as well too and i did say that someone was stealing someone's been caught stealing so now someone is going to be given power to judge this person or this situation this is very interesting i was not expecting to go here because someone has been very Someone was not responsible. Someone was not responsible maybe with something. So now they're going to be given the responsibility of judging. You know, like, I don't know if this is judging someone's fate or what it was. But I mean, I did see this six of wands. As I said, someone is, um, someone has now gained the attention, you know, of others or the attention will be on them. So... Shoot. Okay, I don't know, honey. This is crazy, but four of swords four of swords. This is retreating, you know, right there. This is healing after the heartbreak or the uh situation, you know, healing after heartbreak hotel. Um Nine of Cups. That's wish fulfillment though coming out. Someone's wishes are coming true. Someone's wishes are definitely coming true. Now, what are these what are these wishes about? Um there has been some hurt here. There has been some disappointment. There's been that whole, you know, gamut of emotions. I feel as if somebody may have been trapped in Heartbreak Hotel as well, too. And maybe they have been that way for a while or they were in there for a long time. Hell, that could have been the prison that someone was in as well, but now they've been released from it. They've been released from that and 
shoot, maybe this is the um, the wake-up call they were asking for, or maybe, hell, even being pardoned by the governor. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's just, This is just a crazy reading right here, but you all put that information where it goes. But someone, you know, this nine of cups, that is wishes coming true. Now, it could also mean... Um, I don't know if someone here has been drinking a lot or maybe indulging in a lot of drinking or some addictions or something because with that devil card, it can represent addictions as well too. So maybe addictions were, um, maybe someone was losing their money or losing their self-worth or losing their value to addictions as well. And maybe this is where they were being irresponsible with this King of Pentacles energy that comes out. But we have the Chariot card. So, someone is moving towards their victory. Someone is moving towards their victory. Someone is moving towards happiness or whatever it is that they've been hoping and wishing for. You know, some like satisfaction. Because... It's very interesting that we have the nine of pentacles up here, but it comes out in the reverse. But now we have the nine of cups. So after dealing with some of this energy up here and after going through this ordeal, now someone is in this energy of actually getting what it is or whoever it is that they want. So as I said, maybe they've turned something loose, but now it's opened the doors and call judgment on some situation where they are not moving full steam ahead into something that is new or something that is going to um, be more valuable or go the distance for them in some way. Queen of Cups. Now, <laughs> didn't I mention the Queen of Cups? And now here she goes right here. The Queen of Cups comes out. Intuition. So intuition, emotion. Um... Someone here is sensitive. Someone could be healing, but as I said, especially this Four of Swords, where they uh, needed to kind of mend uh, their hearts or mend their emotions and um, rest, you know, and get some things together for themselves. But someone is sensitive right here. So I feel, you know, someone could be paying more attention to the emotions of someone. Or even just um, protecting their emotions with this Seven of Wands. It's pretty much Seven of Wands is uh, standing our ground no matter what. But being in our own space or being in our bubble right here. So someone could be protecting their um, emotions. And not saying that they are um, building a wall around themselves with their emotions. But only that they are now just... As I said, someone could be coming from that Queen of Swords energy, but they still have this heart. They still have their emotions right there, but they're not leading with that. They've, they've locked those up for now, or they've, um, they're protecting them right now. <clears throat> and this could just be in that energy, as I said, just taking things slowly. Someone might be taking things slowly with someone. Knight of Cups. So there is an offer coming from this Knight of Cups energy. Somebody had to beat the devil here. Somebody had to beat the devil here. And I feel as if there were other people or other things maybe working against them. You know, with this Seven of Swords, as I said, um, someone was trying to steal something or take something from someone. But now, whoever this person is or was, they've had to backtrack because whatever they was doing, it was throwing their world off. It was throwing their lives off. It could have been throwing their own minds off with this temperance card coming out in reverse. And I say that, baby, I wish I had said this earlier. I wish I had said this earlier. And now here it is, the death card. Someone was trying to end something. Now, I don't know if someone was over here trying to play games with someone's life. 
<laughs> like physically trying to end their lives or just cause some kind of um, ending with something in their life. Because the death card does not always have to mean a physical death. But I forgot what I was talking about right here. I forgot what I was talking Oh, that's what I was talking about when I said someone has been on... Um, Someone is being pardoned uh, for something. I was thinking, I was like, well, shit, maybe someone was on death row because I did say someone was in jail or someone was locked up. But someone here is being released from the grasp of the devil, whatever, or whoever that is. But this death card, there has been a transformation. So, some, as I was saying, someone has beat, beaten the devil or they have beaten whatever this is. Here that was trying to take them or trying to control them or trying to take whatever it was from them. And now that they've done that, they have done a complete transformation. And now they are able to move into whatever it is that they, what their hearts desire. So with this Knight of Cups, that's an emotional offer coming because we start off with the Knight of Swords. Then we end with the Knight of Cups. So there could very well be someone or something headed in your direction because, as I said, they someone has been paying attention to someone. Someone is getting a lot of attention here. And now we have the Knight of Cups that comes out. So this is more, this is still an offer of something, but it's more of the romantic gestures. So this could very well be saying that Whoever is coming towards this queen of swords energy, this person who's gaining attention in some way, because the community and people in the community have been looking or they've been watching, they've been observing um, what's going on and what's going to happen. Whoever is um, coming towards them, this queen of swords is now in this energy of leading with their head instead of their heart. As I said, they still have their emotion, but for right now, they are keeping that under lock and key. <laughs> right now, they are keeping that under lock and key. You know, you see this queen of cups, she has her eyes closed. She said, yes, I can feel the emotion. My intuition is going off, but I am protecting myself. Queen of Swords, as I said, she doesn't play. Man or woman. So, okay. Somebody is getting whatever it is or something that they've been wanting. Whatever this is for you. So, let's see. Let's, um, in this reading, I use my Moonology cards since we have a full moon that is coming this week. But someone, I feel, has outwitted the devil in some way. And I feel as if it's this Empress energy right here who has something that's growing or an idea or something that is going to be um, presented in some way. <laughs> Expect powerful change, a new moon eclipse. There we go. So I said that there is definitely um, something is definitely changing here. And this is very powerful. This could be unexpected or be something... It could be something that you're not even expecting right here. Or you could just feel it intuitively with this Queen of Cups, but you don't know exactly what it is. Um, there's something with maybe children on the board as well, too, because the Queen of Cups can be a very um, mothering energy. And with the Empress card coming out, um, someone is maybe about to give birth or about to give birth to a a new idea or something of that nature. So you all put that energy where it goes. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. Um, full moons, the energy is very ripe with something. So it's very, uh, it's, things can come into fruition uh, more. We can manifest. Conclusions are within reach. So now we have a new moon eclipse and we have a full moon eclipse right there. And with these eclipses, there are always changes. New moon in Virgo. So we have a lot of um, earth energy right here. So new moon in Virgo. 
um, a time to give rather than to take. So, someone could be giving back to the community, could be helping the community in some way. Um, you know, the community, as I said, they could be watching this person do whatever this, whatever it is that they are doing on this stage or whatever it is that they are doing out in public right here. But what was trying to be stolen, what was stolen from someone or what someone was trying to steal from someone, I don't feel as if they were able to take that. But now it's going to be given back in some way, whatever that is. So, all right. That was a very interesting read, but... <laughs> Anyway, you all take care. God bless you. Stay safe. Follow me on TikTok, Quentin Wilson 944. And um, someone is definitely going to get some kind of recognition here, some kind of attention. You, Somebody could already be getting this attention. And this could be on some platform or something as well, too. But anyway, um, you all take care. I will talk to you all later. Good night. And God bless you. Bye.